Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to re-index Magento. That's right. And that's enough of the introduction. Let's jump across to Magento and we'll catch up with you there in a few moments time. So we've been and come across to Magento and the section which we need to go to is system and then index management. Now Dave, on ours, can you see that we've got ready, 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 ready all the way down ours? We have all the green readies. Yes. All the green readies. Now, keeping this really simple is that Magento is actually a very complex structure and it uses indexes and indexers to make your Magento website faster. Okay, that's the simplest explanation which I can give you for the indexes. Now, the thing is, is that the more products which you add, or the longer which you have a Magento website, is that some of these indexes may time out on what we're about to show you, and we'll cover that with you at the end of this tutorial. So very, very simply, to re-index one or more of your indexes in Magento, you've got two options on how to do this. You can either click on the re-index link on the right-hand side, just to do one index, and you can see that the product attributes index was just updated, or you can select one or more using these tip boxes down the left-hand side, and then click Submit on the right-hand side. Now, Dave, we only have a couple of hundred products in our Magento website, and we have specialized Magento hosting with simple servers. So that re-index only took a few moments to go through. However, on not so good web hosting, or web hosting which is not specifically designed for Magento, or where you have thousands of products in Magento, that may time out for you. Okay, and the thing is, is that's quite common. Now, if that is you and you've got an indexer which won't re-index itself, firstly, if you're coming in here and hitting select all and then hitting submit, yeah, it's going to take a while because you've got seven or eight or maybe more indexes to update. So the next progression for you to do is just to do one index at a time. Now, the good news here, Dave, and again, this is going to go off slightly beyond this tutorial, which is that you can automatically set Magento to re-index your website for you. Now, this does get a little bit nerdy, okay? So up on my screen, I've got another video tutorial for you. If you go onto YouTube and just search for pathchecker.php, okay? So I'm just gonna highlight this down on my screen. Pathchecker.php, type that into Google. And the reason why I'm suggesting that tutorial is because about a year ago, I wrote a script, which is that if you can FTP a file up to your website, transfer the file up to your website, type whatever your domain name is, .com, then forward slash pathchecker.php, and it will give you the paths which you need to put into a cron job within your web hosting so that these can be set to automatically re-index themselves overnight or anytime you specify them. So coming back to the original topic of the tutorial, to re-index your Magento site is very simple. You can either tick one or more down the left hand side and then click on submit on the right hand side to re-index them or you can re-index individual indexes by using the link on the right hand side but we also learned with larger catalogs in Magento that you may need to turn to an automated route by using a cron job and the reason why a cron job would work beyond it working in our web browser is because our web browsers will time out there are timeout limits within your web host and whether that's a minute or several minutes, some Magento indexes can take 30, 40 minutes to re-index. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, it's a while. <laughs> it's a while and that will never finish in your web browser. Again, that's a good problem to have. And the way to get around that is to set them up to run in a cron job so that they run on the server directly. And the thing is that typically in any decent web hosting account, is that there won't be a timeout on running that script on the server directly. Whereas in the web browser there is, on the server there won't be, and of course then it can run for the full 30, 20, 40 minutes, however long it takes to re-index your Magento website. So does that make sense, Dave? I know I went off topic there a little bit. No, no, that was dead easy to follow. So with that said, from myself, Matt, 
And from me, Dave. Cheerios. So from myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in Nerd. And we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. How to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.